I'm finally headed to Chiang Mai, but I might miss my train. Sit tight, we'll see. It's running close on time right now. All right guys, so it's currently 10, 15 p.m. I finally made it to the uh, train station. Uh, my train is not supposed to leave till about 10.50. Now, I wasn't even supposed to leave today. I had my place reserved till tomorrow, but I got tired of sitting around because I've honestly, what happened was is this. I was supposed to already be in Chiang Mai like one and almost two weeks ago now. I was, I spent my first 30 days in, in Bangkok since I've been in Thailand. I got here October something. Uh, so 30 days in Bangkok, 30 days in Pattaya. And then I had to do like a, a visa run or visa extension, right? So, well actually how many days have I been here now? I did a month in Chiang Mai. I mean, no, a month in Bangkok, a month in Pattaya. Okay, yeah, then I had to do a 30 day extension because I only came here on my 45 day uh, exemption. Then, once the 30 day extension was up, I had to do a, a visa run. So I came back to Bangkok because I was just gonna do the visa run and then go to Chiang Mai. But once I got done doing the visa run, I did a video about that. It was a little, you know, ride to Cambodia, a uh, little day trip, whatever. I just kept renewing because I just got tired of traveling. So I just kept extending my stay. Every day I wake up, like, all right, I'm gonna stay another day. Then another day, then another day. Because I also wanted to like catch up on uh, other things I, I, you know, I have going on. Because sometimes, you know, traveling can burn you out. So I ended up staying like over a week and I'm finally like, yo, I just need to go ahead and, you know, bite the bullet and go ahead and head to Chiang Mai, right? And I want to do it by train. Now, here's the downside. I want to do it by train, but I want to do the sleeper train. Unfortunately, because I want to leave today, there was no more, no, no more of those tickets. So guess what? Your boy is doing a 13 hour ride in like the third class. So this is probably not going to be fun at all. It's probably gonna be a bit miserable, I imagine. Uh, hopefully it's not as busy as I think it will be. Or I mean, at least, hopefully the train's not as crowded so I can at least like try to get somewhat comfortable, but I'm riding in third class for 13 hours, so not what I wanted, but I do, I did need to just go ahead and get to Chiang Mai, and I wanted to do it by train, because I've never done a train like that. Could have taken a flight for an hour. And matter of fact, the train station that is right across from the airport. But I want to do a train because I want to see like, you know, the mountains and stuff in the morning. So this is the price I'm paying for that is, you know, doing this third class ride. Uh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. So when I went and asked for instructions on where my where I should go the train, you know, where's my train going to be? They told me Happy New Year and gave me this little box. I don't know what's in here. So let's open it up. It's a bit of a surprise. I'm excited. Let's do it. All right. It's a little snack box. So we got some peanuts, a water, and some more. I think this is, what is this? I don't know what this is. Maybe more peanuts? No, it's kind of squishy. I don't know. But anyway, perfect. Little snack for the ride. This third class ticket, though, only ran $9, 9 US dollars, 278 baht, I believe. So, yeah, I mean, as far as like price goes, that's super cheap to get basically across the country or whatever for $9. Can't complain about that. But might not be the best ride. But you know what? We're going to humble ourselves. You know, budget traveling right now. Let's do it. After a long 13 hour train ride in third class, I survived, I made it, I'm here in Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, however you say it, I apologize for my incorrect pronunciation, but I'm here, oh my gosh, when I tell y'all never again, I will never again, I'm glad I made it here, but never again, that was so uncomfortable to be in third class for 13 hours, never again, <laughs> just, if you come to Thailand, don't do it. Don't do it unless you just want to torture yourself. And I wish you guys could see what my seat was actually supposed to be. I was supposed to be sharing this little half a seat basically with this other lady. I can only fit half a booty cheek on the seat. It was terrible. But luckily there was an opening like beside me that I was able to sit in. 
I couldn't imagine if I would have had to sit in my actual seat for the whole 13 hours. Miserable. But anyway, we're here. So let's move past that. Let's go explore the city of uh, Chiang Mai. Well, first, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna go check in, get some rest, get some food. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Now I'm just waiting on my taxi to, to arrive. I ordered a grab, should be here in like five minutes. And then where I'm staying is like only, I think like six or so, 10 minutes away from where I'm, the train station. So that's pretty smooth. And then we'll explore a little bit later, find some street food. I have a lot of learning to do about Chiang Mai because I'm not exactly sure what's here. I know there's like different, there's, you know, what people, there's uh, temples, uh, night markets, different stuff like that. There's an elephant sanctuary, I definitely wanna check that out. So yeah, my next 30 days will be spent here. I'm excited, looking forward to it. Something new, something different. And then Bangkok and Pattaya. I wanna go hiking at some point. And hopefully meet some dope people. So, let's do it. All right, so I'm all checked in. I'm not gonna lie, the bed is extremely uncomfortable. If you guys have ever been to Thailand, you probably know that you go to some places and the beds are just, I mean, it feels like you're sleeping on a table and literally that's what it feels like at this place right now. I feel like I'm sleeping on a table with a cloth on it, a tablecloth. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable, like, yeah. I, I, I booked it for two nights, but I'm only gonna sleep there tonight and I'm switching places. Luckily, I didn't book it any longer because it is not what I thought. Now, granted, I didn't have super high expectations because this is like a cheap place. I just uh, you know, booked it while I could find something more longer term here in Chiang Mai for the two weeks I'm gonna be here. Or maybe longer, I don't really know. I haven't really decided how long I'm gonna be here. We'll see, I'm gonna try to explore as much as possible. But yeah, that was, that was not it. So uncomfortable. So now I'm doing what I normally do, which is explore new areas by foot. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just walking around, seeing what I can find, seeing what I see. Then I'm gonna try to find a coffee shop to go you know, kind of just try to get some work done and maybe a little bit find a night market. And yeah, that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. Happy New Year, by the way. 2023. Make sure you got your goals written down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to get her done this year. I'm excited. I got a lot of work to do, especially this month of January. You want to get out to a good start. So, yeah kick things off with the bang but let me show you guys the area I'm definitely going to want to see the elephants so I gotta schedule that that is definitely on the plan to go to an elephant sanctuary while I'm here Seem like a couple bars and cafes around. This is where you can book some adventures. So I'm about to pick a couple of these adventures to book. We got zip lining. This looks pretty cool. So I need to take a probably get a little information packet from here and see what I would like to do. Cross the street safely. All right. It looks kind of good. Might have to get come back for that. As we turn down another street, we got some more shops and whatnot. Excuse me. 
So I'm seeing a lot of places where you can like book excursions and stuff. Got a nice massage place right here. But yeah, so I'm gonna need to come back to one of these and see. Cause I'm gonna do wanna do quite a few excursions. But okay. well, let's continue to walk. See what we can find. As I said, I am getting hungry, so food is going to have to happen pretty soon. By the way, I am wearing my eyeliners right now, so I may talk with a bit of a lisp. <laughs> Looks like a temple in here. Got some Muay Thai fights. I think something people don't talk about enough is travel burnout. Like. Honestly, it's so easy to burn out traveling. Like, I'm kind of already burnt out myself. And it hasn't even been that long. But it just gets tiring to constantly be on the go. And so that's definitely something I'm still adjusting to. Because I'm used to, honestly, more or less, like, structure. Um, I love the travel. But, whoo, this whole solo, constantly on the go, creating new content thing is uh yeah let's just say it's something new it's different it's cool right it's cool don't get me wrong like i'm grateful to be able to see different parts of the world and different parts of thailand but i'd be lying if i say i don't get a little tired <laughs> you know part of me um part of me just misses you know regular regular life which eventually i'll get back to but i wanted to experiment with something new right I'm all about experimenting because as I said before in other videos, you don't know what you like until you try it. So worst come to worst, you try something you don't like it. Oh well, you know, it's not the end of the world. Move on, try something else, right? Who cares? All right, so one thing I have to do is compare prices for different places. They have this stuff right here. Not bad at all though, 1800 baht. So I'm going to be coming back to a couple of these places comparing prices when I'm ready to book my adventures. Another thing that's been on my mind is I'm turning 26 this year. I haven't been in a serious relationship in a few years now. And I think this year it's gonna be something that's gonna be on my mind is uh, looking at more of a serious relationship. I don't know how that's gonna happen though. We'll see if I choose a date here in Thailand or if I choose to go back to the US today. Part of me right now is leaning to go back to the US because uh, I'm not gonna lie, like I, lo I love my women in the US. Like I had great dating experiences, so I can't complain. Um, but we'll see, you know what I'm saying? Like, the longer I'm out here, the more I might be persuaded. Who knows? I'm not gonna rush it, I'm not gonna force anything, but like I said, we'll see, we'll see. As we walk this way, we're getting closer, we can see the mountains. I love mountains. Love the view, love nature. I also love food and I need it some soon. I really need some food soon. <laughs> I know y'all hear me say food every video. I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm starving. Every single video. All right, I'm faced with a decision right now to go left or right. Since I'm left-handed, I'm gonna go left. Let's go left. I have no idea where I'm going.
Yeah, so as I was walking, even though I haven't had real food yet, this caught my attention. Looks pretty good, so we're gonna try this. It's homemade coconut sea salt ice cream in between these cookies. So hopefully it's as tasty as it looks. I'm excited. This is what happens when you're hungry and you haven't eaten food yet, so you just want anything. So this looks good. I do need real food, but this might sustain me for a second as I walk. So let's try it. All right, guys. So here we go. Ice cream. Let's give it a try. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this lady literally just came up to me and like took a picture. I just posed for it. Things that happen here in Southeast Asia. I don't think anything of it, you know. Ain't my first time. It tastes like cookie. It's pretty good. Okay, this is a solid combination. This cookie is pretty tasty. It's very, it's crunchy. It can taste the coconut flavor, the sea salt. It's tasty. I like it. All right, guys, let's go. We got more exploring to do. So that was tasty, but um, all it did was make me hungrier. So uh, yeah, I've just been procrastinating, and I don't know why. Since I've gotten to Thailand, I've had this, I have this habit of like not eating all day. I'll go a long time without eating, and then that's why I come on here and do a video and be like, I'm so hungry it's because i do be hungry i'd be i'd literally be starving <sighs> hopefully we'll cross some food soon like i'm just i'm really just freestyling guys i have no idea where i'm at where i'm going my philosophy is as long as i have a charged phone that has an internet connection i don't mind getting lost you know what i'm saying i can find myself i could have a grab track me down and i'm not going anywhere remote right so my logic is, I'll find my way back home sometime. I mean, at some point. I think I may be going in a circle. I think, I think things are starting to look familiar that I already passed it before. I'll know in a second. I should just use the GPS now. I think I'm going in a circle. <laughs> so just by walking around, I end up finding the area where like the, a popular nightlife street called Zoe in Yellow or Zoe in Yellow. I was watching a YouTube video earlier and this is where they said that, you know, one of the popular places to come. So just by walking around without GPS or anything, I came across that. Now, I don't know what it is in reference to where I'm at because I really still don't know, but at least I've seen it with my own eyes now. Now, as we continue forward, let's see what else we discover. Uh, my beloved kebab. I might have to settle for a kebab. I don't want to say settle because I like them. I haven't had one in a while. 99 baht. That would be good. Let's see what else we have. I might be making a U-turn. We'll see in a second. We're going to keep walking. Mango mojito. All roads lead back to the chicken kebab. Here we go. Got to do it. Here we go. One of my favorite snacks since I've gotten here to Thailand is the kebab. I eat this so many times. I don't know, it's good. It's, it's my go-to. Somebody was telling me about this barbershop right here, Skills Barbershop. So I gotta remember this. It's close to where I'm staying at right now. I'm gonna need a fresh cut, so I'm gonna definitely hit them up pretty soon. All right, guys, so my microphone has died. I'm tired and all that stuff. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I appreciate you guys joining me for another one. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.